Hello everyone, this week we're gonna have a major news on the market like CPI data, FOMC meeting, SBC conference. So we will probably see a lot of volatility in the market. So I'm gonna show you my view on the chart. So let's start with the indices. There is a important key level and area which we are waiting to see if they're gonna break above or below. So let's start with S&P 500. The major area and key level is this one, 3,900 area. So as you can see is ranging and uh, let's see if the price action is gonna break below the 3,900 area and approaching this level here is a support level around 3,700 and we might see a bounce back here from the Christmas rally or we can probably see a break above and retest here around the trend line and this support level here around the 4100 so I will wait to see the price action how it's gonna develop I will really like if this is gonna happen so I will buy lower to have more reward to risk but if we'll see this break I will be happy even to start to buy from here similar view is on Nasdaq so the area is here where the price action is ranging is the 11,500 so it's the same view as S&P you might see break lower around the 10,800 I will start to buy from here if this is gonna happen or if it's gonna break above a nice retest on this level which is the 12,000 area and it's going around as well with a lot of interaction here so this is the two key level on Nasdaq as well so yeah we are just waiting for uh, more confirmation and uh, always some volatility because as you can see this ranging market is not that clear let's move on the currency prospect let's start with the dollar index I want to show you the weekly chart of the dollar index after this bullish run the bullish momentum is finished we are seeing now the bearish mark is starting so this the phase one we can probably see this area is gonna reject the 10480 heading to adding to this resistance 108 so a nice pullback on dollar index and this is gonna happen if this is gonna happen I will start to sell the dollar index until the 102 area why I say this because we can see on the other currency pair on the dollar they are adding to resistance level so I'm gonna bring my IG chart and I'll show you from the euro dollar so this is the euro dollar chart weekly time frame we are see after this bullish run we are heading to resistance level also with this top trend line channel trend line so I would like to see price pull back on the monthly pivot which is around the 120 area so I would like to see the retracement and I will start to position myself to buy the euro against the dollar let's move on on cable pound dollar as well is adding to resistance level which is uh, the 1.23 dollar so all the currency pair against the US dollar they are adding to resistance level that's why I'm saying 
we could we could probably see the phase two on dollar so similar view on cable the chart which i like most is the kiwi dollar which was performing well until now which was the most bullish one and uh, also is adding to resistance and is ranging now and i really like this chart because i would like to see the price uh, come back on the monthly pivot which is going against as well there is the support level which is uh, the 0 0.6130 area this is the chart which i like most so i will probably wait until the price action come back here and i'll start to buy the kiwi against the dollar move on with other currency pair is australian dollar against the dollar this is the weekly chart and i really like to see this because this is divergence so and also the price is adding to this top channel trend line so all the currency pair they are looking tired and most probably we can see our pullback so similar view as well on um, dollar yen dollar yen we see after this bullish run change on trend so phase one come back on phase two again monthly pivot and also nice resistance level the 1.40 area 41.50 and i would like to see this one so if the retracement is going to happen i will start to sell the dollar against the yen until the 1027 mark no sorry 1.27 mark the other currency pair is uh, dollar swiss franc which i'm not interested about because I don't really like the price action so I'll move on on dollar CAD we, which we see nice uh, uptrend is forming and uh, we could probably see the dollar gain a little bit more going 1.40 dollar mark nice double top and then selling dollar against the cat this is the weekly chart so to recap i would like to see the dollar gain a little bit more indicing drop a little bit more before the christmas or rally so i will uh, see and to buy the indices and selling the dollar move on on the commodities let's start with gold which are my preference is to see this one uh, spot this one the head and shoulder pattern left shoulder head i would like to see the right shoulders forming go with the monthly pivot which is the price uh, 1.73 i would like to see this it happen and i will uh, probably no problem i will start to buy gold this nice nice pattern to see for the bullish run so let's move on silver which was more bullish than the gold and uh, i would like to see so it's nice to see is breaking the 22 dollar and i would like to see a little bit of retracement form a double bottom and i will buy silver until the 26 dollar 
move on on the oil oil uh, I'm not interested about at the moment we could probably see a little bit of pullback there is a lot of price action which I don't really like and a lot of in the season at the moment so we could probably see maybe a phase to happen like uh, this this and this come back on the 76 dollar uh, maybe go short from here so thank you guys for watching this video this was a weekly recap of this week so let's stick with the plan and let's wait for the best setup i will keep you post if we see some nice setup happening and in the meantime have a nice week ahead thank you